buddies at Ring hooked me up with a Ring 2.0 doorbell. And I want to install it. But the problem is, is my doorbell is actually pointing that way. So unless I want to get a shot of my wall, I need to install it at an angle. Out of the box, I'm provided with this wedge that's going to allow me to level this because I've got this these slats, right? They also provide you with another angle wedge here. This will allow you to angle your doorbell a tiny bit. All right, no soliciting. Um, just so you guys know, it doesn't include like Girl Scouts. If you got cookies, please come to my house. Um, but that does include Kirby vacuum cleaner salespeople. Very pushy. Don't come here. Okay, so going back to my dilemma, I don't want to install it sideways. I want to install it at an angle, right? Now, out of the box, if you've ever unpackaged a ring thing, it's an experience. The ring boxes are phenomenal. Anyways, you get this wedge. This wedge was to level out this angled slat, right? But I'm still pointing basically sideways, right? Now, they do provide you with a angle here that I could install on top. However, I'm still at a angle, so pointing at my wall. Um, we need it to be like that, like way out here. So, so the solution is this wedge here. I bought it on Amazon. And um, it allows me to install it up to 55 degrees, which would be, that's the angle I need. Now, there's a little bit of a challenge here also. This wedge, if you look at the hole pattern, well, there's a sticker here. So if you look at the hole pattern, these two holes here, that's where it's gonna bolt into the wall. These two holes here, is where your ring bracket bolts into. Those hole patterns don't match up. So I'm gonna have to modify this guy here to work with this. And then what we do is we're gonna mount it, I mean, over here, right? We're gonna mount it, and then we're gonna mount this, and then we'll be able to put our ring at the angle that we need. So we can actually see the action as opposed to looking at the wall. This is what we need the holes to match up to. To kind of show you again, the holes in here don't match up. So in order to fix that, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna drill holes into the wedge that I purchased. I'm gonna flip this on and we're gonna line it up. I'm gonna edge, line up the edges, nice and straight, take a pencil and we're gonna draw in these shapes. There you go. Now we're gonna take a drill bit and we're gonna drill out some holes here so that they line up right in the middle. Okay, so now when we line these up, make sure we can see through. The whole patterns match up now. So now we're ready to proceed with the installation. So what we're doing now is I'm taking off the existing doorbell. Let's pull that out. There we go. And the good news is, is we got a lot of wire here. I was kind of worried we weren't going to have enough length in the wire. But we have plenty, which is good, because if not, we're going to have to install jumpers. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clear these two wires out. There's the other. So now we're ready to begin the installation. Now I'm ready to go ahead and attach this plate. I'm going to attach this here, like this, and the other one's going to go on top, and I need to use a screw that's long enough. So the kit I received comes with hardware. However, I'm opting to use these are one and five eighth inch wood screws. They're coarse thread. And this is hardy plank. So I don't have to anchor or pre-drill. These would just go right in. And it's gonna save me a little bit of time. Uh, if you've got concrete, um, you would probably wouldn't need this because you'd have a straight wall. Um, but at that situation, you'd have to use a drill bit to kind of countersink it first. Um, and then you have to use an anchor. Um, but because I got hardy plank, we're gonna go with these. Like this, okay. Now I did pre-make the, the lines, it really doesn't matter. Then this guy is gonna go on top. Now for the sake of filming purposes, I unhook the hinge. You don't have to do this, this is just so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the angle piece here, get it over the wires, and now we're ready to bolt it in, like this. And again, I'm gonna make sure it's flush with the top. Just like that. Okay, now we're gonna put the screw in the bottom here. There we go. Now I'm gonna snap the hinge back on. Again, I just removed it for filming purposes.
wires should pass through the opening. I wouldn't touch them at the same time. And there we go. Now we're ready to install the actual ring. Now I do love that the ring came with this cool little screwdriver. Um, it's kind of nifty. It's kind of like a freebie, right? So I'm gonna go and install the bracket that came with my ring, which is this one here. I think it actually goes like this. These things are on the bottom. These are the pins where the ring installs to, where the, the threads for them. So now that we've got the plate installed, we'll install the actual ring. So what we're gonna do now is we have to install these wires here. I'm gonna loosen these guys. And ring says it doesn't matter which ones you use. If you do this and your doorbell doesn't ring, then you have to come back and then redo it, right? All right, now that that's done, now we can put the screws in. Got a finger tighten right now. We're not gonna go all the way tight. We still gotta get the other ones in. There we go. Now we can angle it where we want it. Look at this. All right, so here's a cool thing. There's actually these like measurements on here where you can choose where you want it to go. And once you choose your designated position, you drop a screw in here and then you tighten it. And that's gonna lock it in where you've decided to place it at which angle you want. So I'm actually gonna go all the way to the edge. And then we'll tighten it. Now this bracket also came with a screwdriver because this is a number one screw. So we need a really small screwdriver. And you simply tighten it like this. Now there's a second screw because we got to put another one in the bottom. All right. Final step is just to um, go through your setup process, install your cover. And there you go. Now you have a ring that's pointing in the direction that you want to be filming 